I've always heard that you have the incending, uh, impending sense of doom when you're having a heart attack that you just know, and I just knew. We got married on the 27th um, of May in 2000. And it was a small ceremony. We got married in our house, down in the family room. It's still the same house I live in today. I mean, he just looked so handsome and he was just so good to me. I, I'm truly blessed I had the 20 years with him. About two years ago, my husband, he came in for a, a bypass. He had a stroke during or right after the bypass surgery. When he woke up, he didn't know who anybody was. He remembered our names, but to look at us meant nothing. Dr. Schmelzner was the one that did my husband's surgery, and he was just so awesome. You know, obviously I was quite upset about, you know, the condition of my husband, but every day he came in and he put his hand on my shoulder. He would hug me if I cried. He was just good to me. My husband, he went to a rehab facility, you know, hoping he would get better, and um, he ended up having another heart attack there and another stroke. So he was back at St. E and it came time to make the decision for hospice. So my husband passed away and nine months later I had a heart attack. I got up like on a Sunday morning, I was sitting there having my coffee. I felt, I've always heard that you have the incending, uh, impending sense of doom when you're having a heart attack that you just know and I just knew. So I drove myself to the hospital and I, I guess I knew I shouldn't have done that. But my, my kids just see my husband die, and I wasn't going to have them have, watch the paramedics bring me out. They did a stint the day that I had the heart, the morning I had the heart attack, and I went back to the cardiologist and to find out what, it, what else needed to be done and what have you. And he, he told me I'd have a hard time finding a surgeon to do my bypass because I have such small arteries. And for me, I wanted Dr. Schmelzner to do it because he was so good to me when my husband died. I am grateful for them saving my life. I was falling apart. It's hard to watch your whole world turn, you know, turn upside down and wonder what's going to happen to you. And there's a thousand things that you think, you know, that concern your home life, your well-being, and everything like that. But when Dr. Schmelzner would sit there and listen to me, ask him, anyway with no answers. I just think Dr. Schmelzner is a beautiful person. I mean, my, my surgery, it went just according to plan, and it's easy to take things for granted when they go just as they're supposed to go. But I think when you, you can see someone's character when, you know, through times of adversity, it, it was the small measures, you know. I mean, just coming in and putting your hand on, him coming in and putting his hand on my shoulder, and that I am truly grateful for.